for coming to Chemical Free Me. I know I haven't been posting many videos lately, but a lot's been going on. We moved from Connecticut down to South Carolina. Um, and I didn't realize how bad the sun was down here. We've been here about a year and I didn't get affected by the sun at all. But as you can see, I got burned. I've been to many theme parks and walked around without sunscreen and never had an issue. And then all of a sudden I go to Carowinds and bam, I have severe sun poisoning. So I didn't get to the point where it blistered, but it is now peeling. I went Wednesday, today Sunday. Um, I'm still really red. My face is kind of browned up. My arms are kind of browned up. Some of the things I want to go over with you today is how to remedy sunburn and possibly make your own sunscreen. So some of the things I found on the internet were uh, how to soothe your uh, sunburn was black tea. I didn't use that because I'm not supposed to have black tea. And um, so that I didn't really want to uh, introduce a migraine. Although I did try the aloe vera gel um, that they have with lidocaine in the stores. And as soon as I started to use that, I started to get a migraine because I'm not supposed to have aloe on my skin. Um, and while I had that on my skin, I continued to maintain the migraine. So I stopped using that. But if aloe works for you, that's a good choice too. It was okay. Yeah, the lidocaine in it got rid of the pain for a little bit. It wasn't permanent solution. Um, I did try uh, apple cider vinegar on it. It stung for a few seconds, but it did alleviate the pain. It also made my face brown up a little more. Uh, in the shower today, uh, the forehead uh, looks a little red because it, it was rubbing off the, the brown skin. So I've started to peel. So that's a good way. You also want to moisturize a lot, but try and use a moisturizer that doesn't have any fragrances in it. Try and find a clean moisturizer uh, that works for you because uh, fragrances will tend to make the situation worse. Uh, drink lots of water. That's really important to stay hydrated. I don't think I was drinking enough water and yesterday my daughter noticed the insides of my eyes were really puffy so I think it's a form of edema um, and so I bumped up my water intake today and it seems to be going away slowly but surely. Um, another thing that I found is a zap, I can't pronounce this, Zas. Azacithin? Azacithin? It's from Dr. Mercola. I trust his products. He doesn't have any uh, fillers in his capsules of, of vitamins. Typically, I mean, I don't take all of his vitamins, so I don't know. But in this particular one, there's a, a, a natural filler in it. Um, the fillers I stay away from are talc, um, magnesium stearate, those things. They're toxic cumulatively, um, so I, I don't really like to take anything that has that type of stuff in it. So this is supposed to be an internal sunscreen uh, if you take it long enough. It also is a free radical scavenger and you can go to his site and he explains everything about this. There are other YouTube videos online that will explain. This is really uh, important antioxidant. Um, you can also get antioxidants from green vegetables uh, if you up your intake of green vegetables. So today I'm going to go over uh, how to make homemade sunscreen, which is something I should have done before I went to the park, but I figured, eh, I never get sunburned, so um, I don't really need it, but clearly I do. So I'm gonna make a really small batch of this. I do have uh, the, the a doubled batch in recipe in my book that you can find on uh, amazon.com. It's called Chemical Free Me. Today we're gonna go over um, the step-by-step -step instructions. My ingredients for this particular batch our shea butter, um, there's four tablespoons of shea butter, four tablespoons of coconut oil, and two tablespoons of beeswax. Now, beeswax lasts forever. Uh, shea butter has no expiration date, it doesn't go bad. Coconut oil does go bad after a while, I think. Um, but the thing is, we, we need the coconut oil and the shea butter um, as kind of moisturizers. Uh, the beeswax is there to kind of um, thicken it up, if you will. Because if we didn't have that, the coconut oil would just melt. Uh, it's, it's, we need that to make it a little more solid. And then the fourth ingredient is uh, zinc oxide. Don't use titanium dioxide because that's not good for your skin. The zinc oxide is high grade, fine powder. Um, it's it's safe for the skin. They use it in cosmetics. They use it in sunscreens, believe it or not. Um, 
The amount of uh, zinc oxide depends on how much sunblock you want. For my recipe today, I'm going to use, and if I did my math right, two and a half tablespoons of this. This is going to give me a sunblock of 20 or more. Um, so let's get started. you make your homemade sunscreen. I would cover it, um, put it in the refrigerator. It keeps for six months shelf life, so basically only one summer. You know, like I wouldn't keep it for next year, but I make just enough for however many times I'm going to be out in the summertime. I don't spend a whole lot of time in the sun anyway, so this might last me all summer. Uh, the one thing you want to know is that it does contain coconut oil and that does stain your clothing if you have it on too heavy and then you get dressed. Um, I found that out the hard way when I put it on. I had my bathing suit on. I stained my bathing suit and my pocketbook. I was able to salvage my bathing suit by washing it, but I couldn't really wash my pocketbook. So just be aware of that. If you're in warmer climates, you definitely don't want to go to um, any, any outing or anything and, and have it with you. It'll kind of not be so solidified. It'll kind of liquefy because it does with the warm weather get soft so I mean basically you're gonna keep it in a cooler if you can or just take the right amount that you would need to use for that day you wouldn't want to take the whole container if you can't have it in a cooler and keep it cool so um, yeah I would just keep it in the refrigerator I hope I was able to help you make some homemade sunscreen like and share this video with anybody who needs help with any natural or they have chemical sensitivity any natural products um, and tell me in the comments what else you'd like me to make for you and I'll give it a try. Thank you and have a great day. <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> this can be no difference. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> My daughter is over there laughing in the background and I can't say this without cracking up. Stop! <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay. okay. And tell me in the subscription what else you'd like to see. <laughs> <laughs>